Hi, my name is Larry Fox. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. So today we're talking about keto. What I want to do is introduce you to uh, one of our sponsors, or spokesman, I should say. His name is Thomas DeLa. Now you can look him up on uh, YouTube because he has a lot of training videos, what have you, on the subject of keto. Also, he has joined our group, New You Life, and he is our spokesman for the keto product. Now, if you look up keto, it's a very deep subject. There's all kinds of products and what have you that are out there, but there's only one real, true keto product. This one right here from New You Life. This is the one that would burn fat. The best product on the market for burning fat. You don't have to exercise, you don't have to do the diet or anything like that. You take this product and you start burning fat. So, Thank you for watching this video, and I want you to click on the video below, is because it's going to describe what the company that produces this does, making keto product. And also, the other thing I want to uh, talk about is this misconception of, okay, do you have to diet, or you can burn fat, lose weight, etc., etc. But I think the key thing is, okay, yeah, you want to lose weight, but do you want to lose weight by burning fat? Or do you want to lose weight by losing muscle mass, losing other good parts of the body that you wouldn't want to lose? I think it's because you're using the wrong product to lose it. But if you just want to focus on, yes, you want to lose weight, but you want to do it by way of fat. So once again, thank you for watching the video. Click on the button below to get more information, and I'll see you on the inside. Thank you. Um. So some of the problems that people face when they go on a ketogenic diet are, are real though. That's what, what I really want to talk about for a minute because if you go on a ketogenic diet, you're going to find that, you know, you look around most people on a keto diet and they're just going to be eating lots of bacon, lots of uh, low quality meats, lots of low quality oils. And they're not getting the nutrients that they really need. And the fact is on a keto diet, like you should be getting those nutrients. You should still be trying to do your best to get your antioxidants and get your um, vitamins and minerals in, but when you're only eating you know, low quality food, it, it's just not gonna happen. It's so easy to do that on a keto diet Absolutely. because it's so easy to just start eating eggs and just be like, oh, well, I don't need to eat that lettuce. I don't need to eat those greens. You know, so you know, I wanna talk about some ways that this can be overcome and how you can uh, you know, combat this. Absolutely, great point. I mean, uh, coming from the retail side for the last 29 years of my life, uh, people walk in, they go online, and they wonder. They see the word keto, and they just buy it. Uh, I'm, I, this is what I research, what I study over the last close to three decades. Uh, the difference between a product to another is huge. And what you look for is the differences, the difficulties of what, their body, what your body is going through while on your uh, life-transforming diet and body-transforming diet like this. So you search the product, and, and you, you go into an industry, and it's very confusing. You look around, and everything's almost the same. You don't know what you're doing. So my job is to come in and, and take the cream to the top where you see it and you can benefit of what's out there. So we were talking earlier about the endogenous and what your body does. Now, the average person out there is the person that's not so committed. They wanna try it and begin the diet or begin the life transformation and, and the healthy change, right? So uh, I feel that it's our job to actually provide them with the healthiest, safest way to actually continue on this journey and allow them to feel well while they're on it. For example, like a lot of people fear what they call a keto flu. Can you please elaborate a little bit more on the keto flu? Sure, sure, yeah, so the keto flu, that's another big reason why people actually don't do ketosis in the first place, because they're afraid of this. They think that the keto flu is something where they're gonna be bedridden for two or three weeks and they're not gonna be able to go to work. And keto flu is, simply put, it's a period of time in which your body is adapting. It's an adaptation phase where your body is getting used to using fats. So just like anything, when you're training your body, you're training to do something, there's gonna be an adjustment period where you have to work kind of hard. If, if you've never been to the gym before and you go and you start working out, um, it's gonna be difficult. You're gonna have an adaptation period where your muscles are like, whoa, what are you doing? I'm not used to doing this. Well, the same thing happens at a cellular level and it's happening you know, all the time, just different adaptations. So when we remove dietary carbs or limit them and we start introducing more fats, at first the body kind of goes, whoa, I'm not used to this and it starts revving up other processes and it starts uh, other elimination processes. So there's a, a one to two day period where you feel a little bit just fatigued. It's not a flu that's terrible, but you just feel off. 
and um, I found that it's something that like it causes people to stop trying the keto diet. Fear. Uh, yeah, and, and we were talking before we were filming about you know instant gratification. Absolutely. You know, it's it's difficult because we yes. live in a society where people want results fast, and if there's any inclination that something's going to be painful or hard. Uh, they, they quit, they stop. Absolutely. So the keto flu, unfortunately, you know, you, people feel this keto flu come on and it scares them away, so they stop. So don't be afraid. We were talking earlier about endogenous ketones and now we're gonna talk a little bit about exogenous ketones. So exogenous ketones is what you use to allow your body to stay at the same level, allow your brain to stay at the same level and function and keep its food available right away. For example, after you get on a keto, diet or a lower carb diet, your body's starving a little bit more from carbohydrates, which is the main food for your brain. Again, 60% of the food for the brain comes from glucose. So how do you feed your brain right away before your body goes into ketosis? And we're not talking weight loss, we're just talking maintaining your health and your mental capacity and your, your so you can function all day long and just feel a little bit more normal while you're in that phase of change, because it does take your body a few days like mm -hmm. you elaborated. So exogenous ketones are where we combine BHB salts. So we have a proprietary blend here that's amazing. This actually give you, gives you this brain food to allow you to, contain, to continue to stay healthy and focused all day long and not be lightheaded and not be dizzy and not feel tired. So you can continue to do your day-to-day -day job and not fear this diet and continue to be on it. So this is one of the main things that I think um, are important in, in a keto product is while people are through this transformation mentally, they have to be able to deal with, with the brain fog and the mental fatigue, and this is one thing that will ha help them until their body goes into ketosis to actually surpass that weakness point. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like the way that you're, you're talking about that because that's, that's what's interesting is exogenous ketones have an application. You know, it's not a miracle component, right? It's not, it's not gonna make you lose a magical amount of weight. It's not gonna, it, what it is is it's something that you have in your arsenal to help you get through some of these tougher times. And you're talking about just that, just keeping your ketone levels stable. And that's, uh, a lot of times people struggle with sort of the undulation, the ebbing and flowing of ketone levels within their body. And, you know, they're not, the, the average person isn't always testing their ketone levels to see where they're at. So they're just saying like, oh, well, sometimes I feel like I have energy and sometimes I feel like I don't. And sometimes what that is, is it's the undulation of ketone bodies, like ebbing and flowing and rising and falling within the body. So yeah, you, uh, you alluded that, you explained that in a, in a, in a good way. It's, it's helping you keep a little bit more stable. I, I, like, I like to give examples to make people understand that Changing your body is not about a product. It's about a lifestyle and a change and a commitment to the change. Okay, so we're here to facilitate you feeling safe and normal while the change is happening. The first thing we do, I'm gonna give you a separate example. Using deodorant doesn't make you healthy and clean. You still have to shower regularly, <laughs> okay? So the same thing, we're not, we're not trying to replace a healthy diet and, and a good educated nutrition uh, field that you have to learn about, know how your body's functioning and eat healthy every day and know what to eat. And this is what Thomas is here for today, because this is not about a product or not about a product that causes you to lose weight. It's about healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, body transformation on a long period of time. This is not a five minute gimmick. Like I said, this is what I believe in people education and people knowing a little bit more on how their body works and their own physiology. And this is important to me for you guys to know that this is all about you achieving the optimal diet that you can do and feel good on and well on every single day and hopefully share this with your friends as well. Thank you.